Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am Amira and here we not only turn trash into treasure, but we also create dope ideas on a dime. Yes. She's a good girl. A totally different video today than I originally was planning, but I remembered that TJ Maxx and Home Goods reopened over the weekend. I needed a reason to go anyways, so here we are. So for today, I actually, you know, I've been slowly moving into my little beach bungalow. It's a really small space, super blessed to be able to live on my own, but it's small. COVID happened and it kind of put everything old for a little bit, but here we are. TJ Maxx is open, Home Goods is open, you know, Target's up and popping. I am going to allocate the day to redoing my little office. No, it's not a room, you know, the hard part about small spaces is, you know, you don't get rooms for everything, instead you have spaces for everything, right? This is my office space, which is really just a wall in front of my closet. So right now it's obviously not working. I hung some shelves up, which just look like crap. I really have plants on the desk too, but they're out being watered. Hoping to create with this space is, you know, obviously even though it's not a room, a very like functional and inspiring area that I can sit down and focus. Important for me to have like a space to be organized and be able to sit and like spread things out and work. I don't have a solidified plan at all, but what I'm thinking is more of like a functional gallery wall to put up there. I don't even know what they are. Wire organizer things. I don't know what they are. Organizer thingies and a calendar. Maybe just a few photos that inspire me. So aside the fact that I want it to be a functional gallery wall, I don't know what that includes. Stay tuned to see how I turn this space into this. Sweet angel, Carmelo rescued him two weeks ago today. We're still getting used to each other, huh? Do you like it here? Carmelo is demonstrating the use of this room. This is the living room. That is my caffeine. Usually I have a bunch of plants hanging, but they're all outside. I have like this, uh, call these things? I have this little bench, that's not the name of it, but I'm gonna put this here, because it does kind of provide a little separation. And then, yeah, this is like the designated office space. So I'm hoping to find a small, even circular would be super dope rug. Like I said, a bigger pillow to put there. And then some really cool little gallery wall things. Okay, cool. Well, let's get out of here. Let's go. I'm gonna put little baby Carmelo in his crate. I'm actually shocked. I didn't find any office stuff in TJ Maxx, just dog stuff. I'm gonna go Home Goods and then maybe Target because as much as I wanted to get the dog stuff, not the priority. Let's hit Home Goods and Target. Be back. Oh, you guys, what I got actually did find like a little grid board. A couple of these clothespins are broken. I'm probably gonna have to order some, some other ones. And then I also just got from. Target said I might not keep all of these, but we're we're gonna wing it. We're gonna see What happens dry erase calendar? A little bulletin board Also, I really like this from Target a little thing. Ask it to put some like, you know, my binders. I kind of have like journals and stuff laying around I have a binder over there, so use that to kind of just organize the random journals and books I have out. night kind of got away from me but 
hung up those other two little pieces and I know it's hard for you guys to see anyways so I'm just gonna go to sleep and wake up my little baby's sick he's sick yeah. morning everybody <laughs> back to his devilish self you're feeling just all right today huh buddy we literally rolled out of bed to come finish these errands gotta find a pillow and I wish a rug but I'm just being really particular as to what I'm looking for. Why are you deep throating my finger? Stop. It's crazy. So anyways, we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby really quick and we're gonna go to a different home goods. This thing is just so picked through. There's, it's like, there's no point to even go out. And then it's like, COVID is still terrible, you know? So it's like, I might be getting some things on Amazon. That's my point. So anyways, I will see you guys when I get home and show you what I got, yes. So see you guys soon. So this is what starts to happen when I get irritated <laughs> and start losing my patience because I can't find exactly what I want. I just uh, buy everything and decide that I'm gonna return what doesn't work. It's, I got this little hanging pot. Probably hang like up on the board somewhere. And I actually ended up getting shower curtain hooks. There's a lot of S hooks that people use to hang stuff, but I thought this would work to switch it up a little bit. And then I also got things to pay homage to DIY. This little porcelain hammer, these little binder clips, a pair of scissors. Woohoo! So this has never happened, but I hate everything that I bought today. I hate every rug, every pillow. Just like I know exactly what I want and I can't find it. So um, I'm returning everything that I bought. I'm gonna find a rug and a pillow online. So even just a plain black rug. I need it to be black so that it pops properly. <sighs> I might even do like a shaggy black, but like this, that ain't working. That ain't working. These turned out really good for just being like printouts. I sent them to UPS and um, printed on some matte cardstock. Two thousand years later. Hey guys, so it's like day 17 of what was supposed to be a one day project. It's just one of those projects where nothing was working out. I didn't like how anything was looking. The town got stuck in Texas, memory card broke, and here we are. So I do apologize for the delay in videos, it's just life. That's all I have for you is life. Life in a pandemic, perhaps. I ended up returning everything to TJ Maxx and HomeGoods, which I feel like I should receive an award for because I feel like no one has ever spent $300 at TJ Maxx and HomeGoods and literally returned everything. I know that that has never happened in the history of my life. It was matching what I had envisioned and I really needed like something that was predominantly black and I could not find that. I ended up getting a rug on Amazon and it just got here, so fingers crossed. And if this doesn't work, then I'm just not doing a rug, for real. On this week is rebranding and rebuilding my blog. It's really exciting. And so I actually like printed out almost a brand board of like how I just like want everything to look aesthetically. Turn that little bulletin board into almost like a, a branding board. Hopefully I'm just gonna tie together all the details today and it's gonna be great and I'm gonna be done. Let's finish it. It's just the perfect day. A rug. This is what we're working with today. If there's one thing I've learned about myself, it's that I suck at cutting things straight.
way that this has turned out so far. This is like a great kind of just way to have a piece of motivation and customization. And same with this, it's kind of like a piece of art that speaks to you in a sense. I think the Polaroid kind of makes it. Me and my sister, and then just a few, you know, pieces that speak to me. Keep going. Yeah, and I do like the dried rose more than the uh, other plant that I had hanging up. Hope that I like this black rug. I actually think it looks really good, really well. Kind of separates the areas from each other. Um, I like that it's black and it kind of just blends everything together nice, pairs nicely, and offers some good contrast. Guys, I really like the way that this turned out. It was worth the wait to get the black rug. Yeah, I just really like the way that it all ties in together with the little grid. I left the shade off the lamp because it just looks a little more minimalistic and takes up less space and I just think it just flows better that way. Well, I hope that you guys liked this little DIY room space transformation, whatever you call this. Um, if you did, if you would just give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe, that would mean everything. You'd be helping out a young YouTuber, so it means a lot. Um, every week I post a video, whether it's a DIY furniture flip or wellness tip, so make sure you stay tuned for the next video. But like I always say, love hard, be a light, and always have a little faith in your future. Stay well, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.